And the and first step for entrepreneurs, and I'm specifically talking to the people that don't know the first thing about being an entrepreneur. I'm talking about you don't know how to get an LLC. You don't know nothing. All you got is an idea. It's confidence. Mm, facts. And people do mm, not talk facts, about that enough. Facts. Right? Mm. Let me tell you yeah. something. I don't care how much money you got in your pocket. If you're a billionaire, a millionaire, a thousandaire, I'm going to walk in the room with the same energy. Mm. And that's my level of confidence. I don't care who it is. I don't care if you Kanye West. I don't care who you are. That level of confidence is what gets deals. Confidence gets deals. For sure. Not products, right? Not just story. It's confidence. You got to sell yourself to make other people, people want to buy. Yes, people will mm-hmm. give you a million gazillion dollars yeah. if they believe that you are confident in yourself. We did talk right? about that. Yeah. If you are not confident in yourself, why the fuck do I want to give you some money? Like, exactly. If you don't believe that you can right. get to it. But if you believe with all of your might, that ain't nothing gonna stop you from getting to the goal. Somebody is gonna be attracted to that. Like, oh, I'm yep. willing to bet my bottom yeah. dollar on this person because mm-hmm. at, at about when I'm sleeping, I know that this person is still gonna be swaddling her legs and making sure that she's doing what she got to mm-hmm. do to make her dreams come true. Yeah. So confidence is key. And guess what? You can't pay for confidence. No, nope. yeah. ain't no class That's for that. Why I can't. Right. We have uh, yeah. we have an episode listen. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even listen to that episode. Look, she right. come here. She, listen, <laughs> when you hear a motherfucker talking, bro. You when they leave out the room, you be like, oh nah, they was for real. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. no. When they got real companies, but that's why, like, but that's why yeah. Kanye is, is is talked about how he talked about because whether people look at him as crazy or whatever, he's mm-hmm. confident. Mm-hmm. He confident. I believe him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Nah, but what I'm saying, like, 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 like anybody with that at, type of confidence, I'm at, gonna believe. You can look at the Dame dashes. He's confident. I believe he, Dame. I, yeah. I, he's confident. <laughs> confidence <laughs> is the belief in something. How, like, is, how do you right. separate confidence and cap? That's what we're talking about. Like, you well, can be confident. Cap. Cap yeah, you know it. Okay, and cap gonna come get you. No, no. How do you separate? How do you separate confidence and arrogance? That's so, so can't. They, this shit is thin line. Everything ain't cap. So listen, that's a thin line. Nah, well, it is a thin line. But listen, it's a family. It, it's all it's all very relative. Because I even tell people, either you gonna love me, you are gonna be inspired, or you are gonna be like, who this bitch think she is? Right? You gotta, right, right, right. Right. You gotta be a little arrogant though. Right. Yeah, but but there is good arrogance, just like there is positive manipulation, good right? Yeah. And good arrogance yeah. is being nah, that's confident, hard right now. Yeah. That's but hard not right now. cocky, right? But still being humble at the same time. Mm. Like I'm gonna give you an example, like. I do not wear designer. I got on some Chanel sneakers. That's about it. That's mm. about probably the most expensive thing that I own materially because I don't need it because this right here is all the material that I need. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Yeah. So I say all that to say that ain't arrogance. She but I, her closet heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I really don't wear designer though. Everybody's like, Pinky, I'm not wearing that shit. But listen, but I know my value, but that's not arrogance. All that's right. worth. Exactly. And when you know your worth, yeah. worth trumps arrogance any day. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Facts. And I feel like people that think that you're arrogant don't understand themselves. They don't have their confidence. Yeah. You know what I'm they saying? Because or they That's lack yeah, whatever because, it is that because they feel if, like if you're arrogant about. If I'm right now happy about what I'm building, I'm not happy to brag to you. I'm trying to inspire you of what I'm doing. So want to build some shit You take that shit too. wrong, yeah. then that's up to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a so personal problem. When people say, you know, people are bragging or every time this, this, this person come around, they want to talk about what they're doing, that's because you ain't doing shit with yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Ask you who you think you I just told you. I'm a guy. Who would talk about the shit that I'm doing? I want to be happy about right. the shit that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to keep my mouth closed. If I'm out here busting my ass making shit happen, I want to inspire yeah. people. If you can't handle yeah. it, then that's up to you. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know personal problem. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a personal problem. Mm-hmm. And if you can't handle it and you're negative about it, get that shit away. And I got okay, one for you too. Yeah, I got okay. one for you too. It's called, I'm going to get y'all the word before we leave out of here. And my motherfucking line, it's Cap Capital. Dude, that's what we call it. Cap, 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 you can't cap, spend capital. that nowhere. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah you can't spend that nowhere. It's cap capital. That shit is that shit is getting rejected. Lord and void. Yeah. Do, you, do you think some people don't become entrepreneurs or because they just scared to bet on themselves? Because that's a big part that's of it what too. She you said. Everything is huge. Yeah. yeah, everything is fear. Man, but you, you, you could be the one. Yeah. But if you don't believe you the one, you not the Bro, one. Bro, I can have right now $10 million, $20 million in the bank, and I can have a project that costs $19,899. <laughs> I'm, I'm dropping every all of that. penny of that motherfucker yeah. and believing in my yeah, dream because I, yeah. I know I ain't going to fail. Every company I ever yeah. touch is a multi-million dollar company. I, don't, I never went to school to be a, a, a chef. 
Mm. You know, I ain't go to court on blues, none of that. I grew all my shit out of the streets. And everything I touch is a multi-million dollar business. Mm. So it's all for your confidence level, which you know you can do. It ain't about mm-hmm. the education you're learning. Because you can learn all that in the book, but can you carry it in the real world? Right. But I also believe, and I just learned this in the last two years, and I used to didn't think this way, but everybody ain't designed to be an entrepreneur. No, no. True. And that's no. okay. Yes. Right? Their determination yes. ain't that, even Listen, yeah. there's some Somebody people in the world that are a better support system mm-hmm. than just being an entrepreneur. Like, how would, could I be as successful as I am if I didn't have a, a Kia who is my assistant who just makes sure that my life is in order mm-hmm. and she knows how to support people? There's, that's how the world go around. Like, you mm-hmm. need people that are soldiers, and everybody don't want to be an entrepreneur, and that's okay. But as a piggy go, mm-hmm. like, that is my life's desire mm-hmm. to be able to create my own freedom and opportunity so that I can be able to show the world that you can but, do it. But I also think, Piggy, when people look at us, when you're building all of the foundations you're building, by the end of it, they're going to want to be an entrepreneur anyway because they've been around it so long. Look at all the people blossoming and want to do something, whether it's career-wise in the mm-hmm. same, under the same roof. Mm-hmm. It could be under Slutty Vegan, um, Big Dave's, whatever, but they want to grow. And that's right. what it's about. It's about seeing people grow, not want to stay the fry cook or the grill cook. They actually yeah. might want to be a GM. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about, about people seeing the growth and the level up of your boss and you like, shit, I want to level up. I know I got people right now. That probably would have stuck to being a okay. fry cook or whatever they wanted to do. But they see me growing. They like, shit, I got to take this serious. And I want to be a manager. Too. Mm-hmm. I want to do something. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what it's all about. Y'all done have some heavy names walking y'all establishment. So what? what's that one name or those couple names that just fucked y'all up? Like, who? who's there? For me, I, I wasn't even there, man. Russell uh, Wilson and, uh, and Sierra. Sierra. Okay. They come through a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I always seem to miss them. But... The biggest person for me, um, and it wasn't in my restaurant. It was just what I just did in L.A., and that was Will Smith. Because mm. that's my that's my idol, you know what I'm saying? We come from come West from Philly. Yeah, from the same place. Philly, like, right. literally, yeah. We, like, right. literally blocks apart. And for him to be on the cover of Essence and me to make cover of Essence, and I was able to have that, you know what I'm saying, that, that transpire and then have him, to meet him in that same moment. Right. And, and to give him, you know, the, the food that I make. I think that was my one of my biggest moments when it comes to celebrity, yeah. and I didn't fed everybody, but that moment that I was waiting it for that moment, more. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That mm-hmm. moment for me was 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 real big. Mm. Yeah, for me, it it was more of a story. So, the day that I got fired, I was a casting director for a TV show mm-hmm. uh, while I had Slutty Vegan in the beginning. Uh, and I got fired that same day. They found out about Slutty Vegan. I ain't tell nobody. So I'm all bummed out because, you know, I ain't never been fired from no job. Like, you gonna fire me? Mm-hmm. So I got fired, <laughs> and... Ended up working the truck that day. So me and my two team members, we went to Jeju. And it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was tired. And I'm like, damn, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. JD called me at 1 o'clock a.m. This after, y'all been to Jeju before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you get out the shower, you put your clothes on, you chilling, we eating. And JD called me like, hey, I need you to come right now because I got some people at the studio. And I'm like... Right now, and my people, they were like, We tired, Piggy. We've been working all day. I'm like, Y'all, we got to do it. Because if JD calling me, it's somebody big. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, literally, as soon as we got comfortable, we put our clothes back on, drove an hour to go get the truck, drove 45 minutes to JD's studio, and Snoop Dogg was there. Mm. And that was the most impactful experience that I had. One, because he was high as a motherfucker, but <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and he was like, I'm just so proud of you. And like, these fries taste good. And that moment, his energy was just so melodic. And I never forgot it. Cause I'm like, this means more to me than a paycheck, mm. right? Like I make the sacrifice yeah. to come here and meet somebody who has always been a legend in my eyes. Right. And then fast forward, he ended up doing a song for me that's being released this year, by the way, um, about okay. Slutty Vegan. Mm. So oh, but you okay. can drop that, but I can't yeah. drop right now. <laughs> What a double but standard. Listen, but the game yes. come out before the song gets dropped, by the way. The game is coming out before the song. But I say all that to say that one of the most memorable people was Snoop because he's always been supporting Slutty Vegan since day one. And I ain't never pay him to do it. I ain't never asked him to do it. He just mm. did it on his own. And I respect that. And I respect celebrities that genuinely do that, that don't need a check to endorse mm-hmm. your brand. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we don't, we don't pay. You're supposed I mean, to be we'll down pay. on yourself. Yeah. About getting fired from that little rinky dink job. Yep. And then they lifted back up. So I ain't even mad at it. Hey, but no. the, the, sometimes the biggest obstacles in life and mistakes comes out to the biggest things ever in your life. Facts. You don't even know that Always. shit happening that way. You can't Always. question God. You just be like, mm-hmm. man, I'm going to roll with the punches. And yeah. I promise you, some outcome of that shit, you're going to mm-hmm. learn a lesson from it or you're going to get up from it. And you're going to be like, damn, it was worth it. Yeah. So I don't question that no more. When I'm going through, you get spoiled in this. You know what I'm saying? In this life. 
How what I mean by that is like you you get spoiled to the the headlines, the mm-hmm. all that stuff that come with it. And sometimes you got to be real with yourself. Like I can't handle this shit right now. I need a mental break. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. So I think that's when you get leverage of your own self and not lose yourself. Right. Do you hire your family? Do you any y'all hire your family? 